Mentoring plays a key role in attracting and retaining highly qualified and motivated teachers for Arkansas students. At Sheridan Junior High School, veteran teacher Candace Wilson serves as a mentor to first year teacher Tasha Penn. Both educators are strong advocates for teachers working and learning together. I have someone who's looking at me and who's watching me, someone who's depending on me. And I have to um, second step, you know, to think, you know, what I'm about to say. Um, how is that going to affect the student? But also, what effect is that going to have on the, the novice teacher? Um, if I do something, you know, incorrect or if I make a wrong move, if she sees that, she could carry that back to her classroom. So I have to be very careful um, about the things that I say or the, the, um, the suggestions that I make. It's helpful to have someone to go to who can support you. If nothing else, just encourage you that you'll make it. Today's not the end of the world. You'll make it through today. Um, over the summer, we had to go to PDs together. Um, we had uh, curriculum planning days together. So we actually got to meet each other prior to the opening of the first school day. Mentoring is very important for a first year teacher. Um, it's kind of like a walking resource and it's a walking resource within the building that I'm working at. Um, so anytime I have a question or anytime I feel um, not confident in what I'm doing, um, I, can, I can just always go ask the question or get help or um, about like technology or the grading system or anything that I had problems with that. Um, she was just um, a, few a few doors down the hall. Co-teaching with um, my novice teacher for this year has helped to where we can actually work on strategies, work through um, new ideas, work through struggles that she's having in her classroom. We can work through that in here and, and role play that and figure out best solution and then she can carry that back to her classroom. When I come in here, I can see, okay, she started with this opener because it leads into the lesson or um, kind of like prox proximity, she walks to that student. Um, so it's, it's, you can talk about it all day and discuss it, but until it's modeled, that's how I really learn it. The growth that I've seen in myself since the mentoring process, whew, a lot of growth. <laughs> since day one, um, I'm confident. Um, my classroom management, it, it, it was one of my um, PGP um, goals. Um, however, I feel like I've blossomed. Um, I don't no longer have to go in and say, do your do now, get quiet. It's the expectation that they know to do when they enter my room. So I would want to be a mentor to a novice teacher um, in a few years because I think we learn from each other. So in five years, there's gonna be different methods um, that they're gonna be fresh on that I would love to know. And so I just think you learn and grow from each other. So if I can help these, these younger teachers um, overcome these things that are so frustrating behind the scenes, then when they're in their classrooms, they enjoy their jobs. She, she wants to be a successful teacher. She has that desire. And so just to see her happy and excited about her profession and what she does with our students, that, that says to me, continue doing what you're doing. For more information about Arkansas's teacher mentoring program, contact Maureen Harness and the Department's Office of Educator Effectiveness at 501-683-4382.